morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world and you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi, today again filming for my rooftop, I still need to find my way around, yes, I will start to walk the beach and the cliffs and all that stuff, and I'm also really, really busy, like yesterday, for example, I needed to first record my own video, then upload the video, then I need to do some groceries with my family, or shopping with my family, then I did a podcast with crypto kevin really cool guy soon will be online i think it's a was a podcast at beer coin cafe i found a beer coin cafe with the b of bitcoin here uh, around my corner so yeah we went there to do that and the evening we went for dinner so my days are packed 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 i can't even go to dubai also because of some personal stuff that i need to arrange i should have been in dubai from the 18th till the 21st of april um sorry for all the people that i want to meet with i can't come some stuff came up personally that i need to solve before i can um, go and travel and do some other stuff so uh, sorry for that but i will see you on the next event guys in today's video four amazing bitcoin charts i will tell you exactly why we see bitcoin going down and i will also tell you what the next move will be yes of course a trading tip a travel tip talking about the news answering a question and an inspirational quote at the end of the video guys yes a video packed with information let's quickly jump into the charts to show you what is happening to bitcoin the first chart for today guys is this four hour chart on this four hour chart we can see that we are hitting that massive area of support down below here around 61 62k guys is exactly where the wicks went even one wick over here this wick went all the way to 59,765 so yes it's a very important area of support but we need to keep this area of support because if we, if we break this area of support we can see why it's an area of support over here and over here but if we break it and we start to zoom out the next massive area with will be around 57 but after that we will drop all the way to 52k so that would be amazing buying opportunities i'm not saying that's going to happen i'm just going to say if we break these area of support it's going to happen but i'm going to zoom out a little bit to show you some more because if you look in the short term guys we can see also the rsi is bottoming out like all the indicators are pretty bottoming out so we are in for a reversal but could mean that if we break this support if we have a lot of weekends we could drop to these levels the next level would be 57 and the next level would be uh, 51k even again i don't see it happening but it could happen we never know what the charts will do but for now it looks a very strong support over here guys now if we zoom out to the daily chart we can see we are breaking out of that pattern now in a bearish way if you draw the Fibonacci retracement, I took the Fibonacci from this level because there is a lot of support in this level and here is kind of the start. Then we could drop to the 0.618 level, which is around 60,600. We are doing that at the moment. You can see that's a very important support level. If you climb and you draw the Fibonacci, you can see, yeah, it pulls back to these levels or to that level or again to this level the next level at the golden pocket level would be 0.5 it would be 56k so we already dipped to 57k something uh, yeah that could happen guys the thing that worries me a little bit on the daily chart is that we are breaking this green line because if we look back in history now um, to the previous bull markets like for example to here we have the 2000 21 bull market let's see i'm gonna zoom in uh, all the drawings are still on the chart from that one look that green line mostly when we go into that second part is a support line so we break above it and we use the support we can go a little bit down below it but mostly you know here also a little bit down below it. mostly it is support in a steep run and we are now breaking that green line and if you look back to 2017 even one bull market before that over here you can see the same this green line that's a very important line on the daily chart because that is the line that is coming to support when it comes to the last part of the bitcoin bull and you can see here go up to that line up a little bit down below the line again up a little bit down below the line again up but every time we stay around that line or stay above that line what is that green line i will double click it so you can see it is the 50 day moving average the red line is a 200 day moving average so at the moment what do we see we see that we are breaking that green line now here on this moment so if you go now to back to now we can see that that green line also in this bull market you know this is the bear market bottom over here 
We came above it, a little bit down below. We came above it, you know, just see that this green line st all the time is support. And even, you know, if it's falling below the green line, we will fall to the red line over here, or to there, here we go, below the red line. But that green line is an important line during the bull market. So, even if we dip down below that green line, which we are doing now, we did it over here as well, we will turn back above that green line again. In the bull market, we're not going to drop down below that red market tremendously. So we are going to stay in this area, I think, of a 0 0.5, 0 0.618 support. It's like 57,000 to 60K. That is in the massive area support. And then I think we will come above that green line again and go towards that halving and create a new all-time high again. Don't freak out. Zoom out. Look what happened in the past and start to buy these dips. Some more important charts are over here. This one, for example. Because you are thinking now, maybe I should sell Bitcoin. Maybe I should sell Bitcoin, a little bit of Bitcoin, uh, for example, into gold. This is the chart that shows you how much gold is being mined every year. How many tons. Do you think gold is scarce? Do you think gold has a limited supply? There is more gold being mined every year. This is the beginning over here. Only more gold, more gold, more gold. Why? Because it's an unlimited supply. Why would you sell your precious Bitcoin for something that has an unlimited supply? We don't know how much gold there is on Earth, and we definitely don't know how much gold there is in the seas, and also not on other planets. Why would you sell Bitcoins for this? Or you're thinking about, ah, maybe I will sell my Bitcoins into fiat currency, into euros, or my beloved dollar, or any other of the shit coins. This is the chart that expresses the purchasing power, for example, of the dollar. The purchasing power of the dollar from here to there is almost a 90% decline. A 90% decline. You're buying less for your dollars and euros each and every year. Here you could still buy some groceries for a dollar. Here you cannot even use the car anymore for a dollar. The shopping car I'm referring to, of course. <laughs> so it's very simple. Why would you sell Bitcoins for a fiat currency that is only decreasing your purchasing power? That is not smart. Why would you do that? Why would you sell your Bitcoins for euros or dollars if you know that the purchasing power you have with that euro dollar is only decreasing. It will become less valuable because you can buy less goods. So I wouldn't do gold. I also wouldn't do, for example, um, fiat currencies. I would stay in Bitcoin. Why would I stay in Bitcoin? Because it's scarce, it's fungible, it's portable, it's durable, and it's divisible. So other cryptos don't, other cryptos are not that scarce and are not that fungible, but also are portable. We don't know the durability yet of the most of them. Bitcoin has been unhacked, unchanged like since the beginning. And of course, other cryptos also divisible. Gold, hmm, moderate scarcity. It is fungible. You can't pour, to, it's not portable. You can't take 10 kilos of gold everywhere you travel. So all of these are not as good as this one. Why would you sell this one for any of these others if you understand this? Even real estate. I know a lot of people swear to real estate. I love real estate. Why? We don't know how many buildings there will be built. We don't know if seasteading, like building constructions on the sea, will be the future. We don't know if it will be more popular to move to Mars and build there. We don't know how that will affect the prices of real estate. It is an unlimited supply that can be built. There is enough space on this earth to still keep building. We can see it. Wherever you live, you see construction. So why would you exchange your bitcoins for something like that if you know that bitcoin has a limited supply of 21 million? And if you're not convinced now yet, I'm going to try to convince you even more by the next chart. Because this chart is showing you at every time, and this is the one day index over here of dollar and Bitcoin, when the RSI comes in these levels down below that dollar line, if you would have bought over there, 
you would have made profit. If you would have bought over here, you would have made profit. If you would have bought in this moment over here, you would have made a shitload of profit. If you would have bought in this moment here, you would have made a shitload of profit. If you will buy in this moment over here, dollar cost average into your position, you will again make a shitload of profit. Still not convinced? Okay, next chart. This chart will convince you. This is the Bitcoin MVRV momentum. I've been sharing this already for years with you guys. Whenever we see those pinkish lines, means that that BTC MVRV ratio line, that yellow line, goes down below the MVRV 90 day line, the blue line. That is when we see these pinkish lines. Whenever you would have bought around that time, you would have bought the dip. This was the dip. That was the dip. This was the dip. This was the dip. This was the dip. This was the dip. Oh, sorry. This was the dip. Just check. If you would have bought the black line as a price around this dip, you would have made profit. If you would have bought around this dip, you would have made profit. If you will buy around this dip, we are now again down below that 90 day MVRV line with a yellow line down below the blue line. If you buy this dip, pinkish lines, you will make profit again. Please start to zoom out, stop freaking out, stop crying, start buying. These are the opportunities you're waiting for. It doesn't matter if you dropped 1K or 2K more, just buy at, at this level because you know we will go 10K up again very soon. Even the rainbow chart now is telling us, yes, we are back in the still cheap area, this area. That's where the black line is now. We were already in the hodl area. We came back to the still cheap area. It's a beautiful area to buy. Selling is in these areas over there, orange to red areas. That is when you start to think about selling. And then you will also have time to sell, as you can see over here, a couple of weeks to months, a couple of weeks to sell, a couple of weeks to sell. You should be adding to your portfolio if you didn't yet. This is the moment before we do that blast to the future here in that red orange area. Still nice area to buy Bitcoin to maybe even double your capital in the next 12 to 18 months. Stop crying, start buying. I hope you really enjoyed those charts. Yes, short term. Again, visiting that massive support area that you should be buying, you should be adding to the dip. You should not be waiting for 58K or 50K even. I see all those comments. I don't see this happening. So I would be dollar cost everything into Bitcoin at these levels. But then again, who am I? Maybe I'm completely wrong. Maybe we will get to 50K. But then again, you can also add to your portfolio at 50K. I don't believe this. I don't see this. I don't think we get better buying opportunities than now, before and after. This halving, this halving is going to be a massive event that's going to propel Bitcoin to new heights. It's not going to drop further after the halving. There is more and more demand. There is less and less supply. This is going to lead to supply shock. The Bitcoin price will go up. Adding to your portfolio at 62K or 63K or 60K or 58K is all nice levels if you think that Bitcoin can go above 100K because it will be a shit with the profit, guys. I will keep repeating it every time buy that dip. The trading tip today is a warning. Trust Wallet just tweeted that you please, if you are an iPhone user, shut down iMessages. There is a zero day exploit targeting iMessages and through that, without you even having the need to click a link, getting access to, for example, your trust wallet. So please, it's a huge warning. Everyone that's using the iPhone, please shut down iMessages. You can go into the menu, iMessages, and then just shut down iMessages. It could be a leak that gives them access to your wallets, guys. So please, you can see the tweet over here by Trust Wallet. So for me, Always do your own research, but now a huge warning, please switch off iMessages, switch it off, please on your iPhones, till Apple came with a patch to solve that issue that they don't get access to your Bitcoin wallets or trust wallets or whatever wallet is on your iPhone. So do your own research, read it, but you heard it here, warning, 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 big warning, please don't use iMessages on your iPhone. 
the travel tip for today guys is when you visit certain towns and you know that there is a bitcoin cafe or a bitcoin restaurant please visit them support those locals that support bitcoin like yesterday i could have recorded this podcast with crypto kevin on the most beautiful beach club or the most beautiful rooftop whatever we could have done but we went into the beer coin cafe with a capital b of bitcoin because we want to support the local companies that do something with crypto really cool location uh, it looks like a bar but there is something to do with a beer coin and if, if you drink enough beer then the screen shows all the bitcoin values in beer uh, it was not active yesterday they are still building everything but at least it's a good idea and they are supporting bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies so yes that's why we did it over there so every time when you travel somewhere just look at K coin atm radar or any of those apps that you can use to track shops that accept bitcoin or stores or bars or restaurants and please visit them if you're a Bitcoiner, visit them. You will meet other same-minded people. You will meet other Bitcoiners or other crypto uh, lovers. You can talk and share your opinions about Bitcoin, cryptocurrency and everything else because most people will visit those bars if they own a little bit of Bitcoin. So travel tip for today, if you travel somewhere and you know that there is some location accepting any form of cryptocurrency, do visit it, support them, drink your Bacardi Coke, drink your beer, eat a lunch, whatever it is, or stay for a night and support that local Bitcoin. And to keep it short, I'm answering a short question for one of the followers. Uh, there was many followers, not one, it was like a lot of them that asked me, Didi, why was the series so short? When we will get season two or three or whatever is the plan now with your uh, Bitcoin family, all of the Bitcoin family series. At the moment, we don't know for sure. We know that uh, the documentary series is going to go live internationally. We know it will uh, launch in the US market and the England market and the European market and it will go to Spanish countries. We know that this part is going to go live. We also know that we have enough content already to create series number two or season number two and probably also number three already. We are going to film a little bit more of course and add new stuff because we want to see how our family of course reacts uh, to the halving but also of course <laughs> to the massive bull run uh, yes because also that is for us a beautiful time because then yeah, of course Bitcoin goes up uh, we become even more rich and maybe we can even help more people all over the world so let's see where all that ends up but for now I can only tell you that the concrete plans are there for season two three and maybe many more to come number one season one has been watched a tremendous amount of times on uh, Amazon Prime just in the Netherlands already we were in the top five for a couple of days which has never happened for a new series that is not being published by a huge like publisher like we are just a normal family not that many people know yet and bam you go onto Amazon Prime and you come into the top five which was really unique still a lot of people watching the series every day so a lot of people love it uh, I do think that if we go to the United States and it will launch there on Amazon Prime that a shitload of people will watch it because there's like a huge part of our following also here on YouTube is from the United States it's only 30% that is from the Netherlands or Belgium or the Benelux, let's say like that, 70% is outside of Europe. So yes, I think that our series first goal should be go to the United States, launch it over there, see how the reactions are over there, and then season two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, maybe even till 21 will follow up. So that's the answer to that question. Yes, it was only four episodes, but four really beautiful episodes, and maybe it just looks short because they were so much fun to watch. Now that was the answer. We will come back with more. And the news for today is that there now was an official research after the scarcity of Bitcoin and how important it is that you guys and me, all of us, invest all our capital into Bitcoin. The research shows that all other assets like fiat or real estate or stocks or gold have an unlimited supply. We don't know how many buildings that we will build in the future. We know that there is a lot of space still out there and also out there on the seas. So yes, we don't know the supply of housing. So that's an inflationary asset. We don't know the unlimited supply of gold. So that's an inflationary asset. We don't know how many stocks there will be, how many new companies. So that's all inflationary assets. We do know that there is only 21 million Bitcoins. That's the only deflationary asset. We do know that less Bitcoins every four year cycle will come to the market as new Bitcoins will come to the market in a daily base. 
So all of the biggest investors all over the world start to understand this concept now. We are just getting started. We are now like two, three months with the spot ETF. They don't grasp the complete Bitcoin cycle yet. You and I do. We already been here since 2013 or 17. We already know what Bitcoin does. They will still need to understand, but they do understand that core fundamental calculation of 21 million Bitcoin. And they do understand that that is completely different than the unlimited amount of gold that we have on Earth. Maybe even more somewhere on Mars. They do understand that 21 million Bitcoin is more fixed than all the real estate that is being built all around us. All the stocks, all of those assets that we have around us cannot be compared to Bitcoin because that has this limited supply. And that is why the increasing demand for Bitcoin institutional investors, retail investors, governments, all of that combined is increasing, will lead to an increasing price because the supply is decreasing. And whenever there is not enough supply for the demand, the prices will always increase. That was the case for gold, that's the case for real estate, that's the case for all of those other assets. The only biggest difference is they are not scarce. There is an unlimited supply. Bitcoin is scarce, a limited supply. So please let this news item go and read it on Cointelegraph, sink in for like 10 minutes, <laughs> not longer, and then understand you should be going all into Bitcoin. All your savings should be in Bitcoin, not in your bank account, not in real estate, not in stocks, not in bonds, not in gold, not in silver, Bitcoin. Bitcoin only. Hashtag all in the Bitcoin family. Okay, for the inspirational part, I, I will do my best. I will do a stroll on my rooftop. It's a big rooftop, so I can do a stroll over here. And maybe I can even show you the sunset. But the inspirational part for today, guys, instead of worrying about what you cannot control, shift your energy to what you can create. I think that's very important. I always tell my kids the same. If you're watching Instagram, Reels, Stories, you're not creating, you're consuming, you're just consumer, you're just looking and repeating and watching all that stuff until your brain gets dead. Start to create. When you create social media, you create something new that others can watch. Don't be the watcher, be the creator. And that counts for everything in life. You can be worrying, for example, about everything that you can't control. And there is a shitload of things you can't control. I believe that almost nothing can be controlled. I can think I can control that I walk down and go for a coffee. But as the bar closes, I need to create a new path. So instead of worrying about what you can't control, you should be focusing your energy to creating. Create your own future. Create your own path. You can't control life, you can't control the world, you can't control all the surroundings. It took a lot of billions of years, 300, for me to be able to walk on this rooftop with this technology and make these YouTube videos. I couldn't control that whole path. I had zero control on it. I don't even want to try to control the future because I know it will go in a direction that it wants to go. But what I do do is I focus my energy on that positive part, on that part of creation on my part of contributing to a beautiful world, not on the part that I can't control. That's wasting your precious energy. Wasting your precious energy, it means wasting your precious time. And what is the most important asset in our lives? Not Bitcoin, not gold, not fiat currency. The most important asset is time. You should not be wasting time or energy towards things that you can't control. That's useless. Shift your energy to creating. Creating a new future for yourself. Creating new possibilities. Creating content. Creating new paths to walk on. Never focus your energy on things that you can't control. That's a waste of time, a waste of energy, a waste of not being able to stand in the sun and enjoy the sun. <laughs> oh my God, the sun is really bright this morning. Um, short video today, guys. I'm a really busy week ahead. Sorry that I can't go to Dubai. Sorry for all the companies that I'm disappointing. But sometimes in life, 
I need to take care of personal stuff as well and also about family stuff so that is what I chose to do and um, I would have loved to visit all of you guys and to meet all my friends again up uh, there in Dubai but I just can't at the moment my apologies but I will be back next time just a little bit busy at the moment and i need to focus on some other stuff i, I want to thank you for watching this video i hope you enjoyed the video if you did enjoy the video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell leave a comment what do you think about the charts what do you think about the tips what do you think about my eyes being blinded now by this bright sun here in the morning and yes of course i will start to walk the beach and hopefully there will be some booty and everything again but at the moment uh, this is the end of the video so thank you for watching share with all your friends and family and see you tomorrow again